Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Modern Mining. Well, today I wanna to do a complete overview of the state of GPU mining. It's looking really grim right now, but I wanna look into when can we expect it to get better? When do we expect altcoins to start taking off based on previous trends in the past with the Bitcoin halving? We'll also take a little look at my thoughts on why the crypto market is going down right now. Obviously take everything I say with a grain of salt, but I think there's some bigger macroeconomic events that are causing the crypto market to be down right now. And lastly, we're going to talk about what I'm doing differently with my farm during these uncertain times and maybe some things that you guys could do as well. So let's take a look. Today's video is sponsored by Cryptex Mining Pools. Cryptex is always releasing new pools for different coins. Recently, they released the brand new Cedra Pool. Not happy with your current rewards with your Cast Basic? Try out the new Cedra pool on Cryptex and see how it compares. I'm currently using the Cryptex Nexa pool on all my GPU rigs after finding it's more consistent and more profitable than other pools in my area. Don't forget to check out the Telegram alert bot, receive real-time alerts for payouts or when your rigs are having issues. I'll leave a link down below to get started. Thanks to Cryptex for sponsoring this video. Right here, I've got just CoinGecko, my portfolio pulled up. Really, this is just a good place where I have a bunch of GPU mineable coins put into a CoinGecko portfolio so that I have one list where I can monitor basically all the GPU mineable coins. I got this idea from Red Panda Mining. I'm sure you guys have seen his big sheet where he's got a ton of mineable coins in there. But you can see over the last 30 days, it's been a bit of a bloodbath for all GPU mineable coins besides maybe Ravencoin. Some of them, I mean, are down crazy percents. Pyron, 70%. Husat, 85%. I hope you guys were selling those as you were mining them, especially during that huge last pump. Um, but some of them aren't as bad. Alephium, 1%. We're going to talk about that shortly. Another interesting thing to point out is it's not just crypto that's down over the last month. The stock market is also down pretty significantly over the last month, the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. So generally when I see big crypto drawdowns like this, I like to look and see how is the stock market doing? Because if both of them are going down at the same time, I think of that like this is not a crypto issue with the crypto market. This is a whole world kind of macroeconomic issue. And I think what's going on right now is the last two inflation reports have still come in hotter than expected and the federal reserve was expected to lower interest rates in either june or july of this year but if they're going off the data i don't think they're going to be able to lower those interest rates when they had originally said they were going to and i think that's making all investors not just crypto investors a little bit hesitant of what the future might hold especially being in election year so the general uncertainty is not only in crypto, it's in sort of all the financial markets. And I think a lot of it is based on what the Federal Reserve does with the interest rates. So the big news that happened this week, and I won't spend a ton of time on it because I've seen a ton of videos, so I know you guys have, is that Alephium ASICs are starting to really hit the network and the majority of people are pulling their GPUs off Alephium. Me and other YouTubers have been saying this for a few months now that your time to mine Alephium is coming to an end soon, so stack as much as you can. Well, it's finally somewhat happening. If we look at the hash rate here, Hero Miners was at about 140 terahash over the last few days. It jumped up to 430 terahash at one point, and now it's at about 460 terahash. It's actually come down a little bit from where it was, but it's only going to keep going up. So that huge increase in hash rate is not making it profitable to mine on GPUs. So what does this actually mean for GPU miners? Okay, we'll just switch to another coin, but let's look at the bigger picture and the actual impact it has because it's somewhat substantial. When you're talking about different mineable coins, a very important stat is the emissions of those coins. Basically how much revenue is generated from mining every single day and that amount is spread out to all the miners who are mining the coin so obviously bitcoin comes in as the big dog every single day 30 million dollars worth of bitcoin is being generated and split out to all the people who are mining the coin 
obviously before the halving, that would have been about $60 million, assuming the price stayed the same. But where does Elysium end up on this list? Because basically all that emissions that were going to GPU miners, a few FPGAs, but mostly GPU miners is gone. So now that that money is gone, all those GPU miners are going to move to other coins and that amount of money needs to basically be soaked up by these other coins. So Alethium is not actually listed on mining pool stats with an emission number. So if you sort by emissions, you can see Bitcoin first, Dogecoin, Caspa, but Alethium is not there. So I actually had to go to hashrate.no and see that the emissions of Alethium is $118,000. So that would have put Alethium as the seventh highest mineable coin in terms of emissions. And that sucks for GPU miners because now that huge source of revenue is gone. And our next biggest for GPU mining is basically Ravencoin. And it's about the same as Alethium was. But then you also have Pyron that's holding up the boat pretty well. And some coins like Dynex. 30k but when you, when you think about it and the scary thing of it is is that Alephium was generating the same as Ergo, Carlson and AI Power Grid combined. So that's a big hit to GPU miners and it's pretty unfortunate. We can all say that thank God for some of these ASIC resistant coins like Pyron or the Kapow algorithm. Without those, we would really be hurting right now. So what does this mean for the future of GPU mining? Well, we really need a Kapow coin or one of these other ASIC resistant coins to pop off. We likely won't ever see another day like the Ethereum days where we had the, a top five coin that was GPU mineable and generating a ton of emissions for miners to receive. But even if we could get one of these mineable coins that are ASIC resistant into the top 50, that would be pretty substantial. And as far as I know, there's not one in there right now, but that's what we really need for profits to really come back or the bulk of all the mineable coins to shift up in market value, which will happen during the altcoin run, but still probably will not be Ethereum level profits. So when do I expect GPU mining profits to start getting substantially better than they are right now? Well, the best way I thought to do this is look at previous halving data and see when did alt season really start and alt season is when bitcoin has gone on a huge run and people are thinking that they're not going to get much more gains out of it so that they start putting more money into these altcoins that are riskier but higher return potential on your investment so alt season in the past at least in the last having the happening happened on may 2020 so the right here is the Bitcoin dominance chart. This is out of the whole crypto market cap, what percentage of it does Bitcoin account for? When Bitcoin is very high and altcoins are low, Bitcoin's dominance percentage is going to be higher. You can see way back, Bitcoin accounted for basically 98% of all of the cryptocurrency market. So if we look at May, the last halving, May 2020, Bitcoin dominance was at 64% and it really didn't start to drop until December of 2020 or even February of 2021. And then Bitcoin dominance dropped all the way to 42%. So what that means is people were selling their Bitcoin and buying altcoins, causing the altcoins to go crazy in price. So if we extrapolate that to today's world, that means I'm expecting altcoin season to begin somewhere around December to January of 2025. So December 2024 to January 2025. Obviously, take this all with a grain of salt. I'm not a financial advisor. All we can do is look at previous history and kind of base our assumptions on that data. So here, it really looks like altcoins are going to start pumping at the end of this year, start of next year. So where does that leave us in terms of how can we capitalize on that? Well, right now, profitability may be super low, but it's actually a perfect opportunity to start accumulating a lot of these smaller altcoins before this big run happens. And when profitability is low, 
that means yield is generally higher because less people who have higher power costs can't mine. So we'll just quickly take a look at, for example, Nexa and what the difficulty looks like for a coin like that. So right here, you can see the six month difficulty chart for Nexa, and it is at basically a six month low. So if you mine Nexa anytime in the last six months, you're getting more actual coins right now than any time in the past. More coins are gonna appreciate more when the altcoin season happens. So to further emphasize this point, let's check out the 3070 on Hashrate NO and look at our profitability numbers right now. So you can see if you're dual mining Ironfish and Pyron, you're getting about 20 cents profitability right now, but let's go down to the what I was talking about, Nexa, you're getting about 14 cents profitability right now. But we need to think about revenue when we're thinking about future appreciation because if you hold these coins and they go up 10x in value, that doesn't only apply to the profit, that actually applies to the revenue of how much coins you mined. So profit, 14 cents, but revenue, 42 cents. And so if Nexa 10x is and Nexa has been at the 10x price in the past, that would mean that each 3070 that you own is generating $4.20 of money per day that you mine during this entire sort of bear market in the altcoins, which is pretty substantial. You mine for 100 days, one GPU is making $420 and that pays off the GPU, at least the 3070. I talk about profitability a lot on this channel, but in times like this, where the difference in profit between Nexa and the highest coin is two cents or three cents or some small amount, then profitability basically goes out the door. I don't care about selling and making an extra two cents a day. What I care about is generating the most amount of coins to be able to sell when prices finally turn around. And so right now is the perfect time to start changing up your strategy to yield mining instead of profitability mining. So let's talk about my current plans with how everything's going right now. I have 26 GPUs and I'm not planning on buying any more right now unless I just find absolutely absurd deals it's just not worth it right now when a 250 dollar gpu and a 3070 is only making 14 cents profit a day and really it's less than that when you start accounting for motherboard wattage and things like that so i'm not buying any more gpus i've got a nice little farm going and i'm going to just accumulate coins for the next few months and see what happens I'm also going to be looking into some home ASIC miners. I don't want a super loud ASIC in my garage. You all saw the Call Engine P2 FPGA video. That's an awesome machine, but the noise is just too much, and I don't like not being able to film in my garage because it's so loud. Eventually, when I get like a shed up and running, then I'll look into those big boy ASICs, but for right now, I'd like to get some home ASICs and I've been checking out sites to basically monitor prices and figure out which one I wanna go into. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a bunch of my recommended ASIC suppliers down in the description. Right now, ASIC mining is definitely more profitable than GPU mining. So when I get the funds together and I see an opportunity I can't pass up, I probably will jump into a home ASIC, like a little gold shell box. Probably not the Alephium one because it's just too expensive for what you're getting and there's too many unknowns, but that's my plan. So stick in there, guys. Things are going to get better. Accumulate as much coins as you can right now, and it'll pay off big time about a year from now. I can't wait to come back to this video and just see how different everything looks. Hopefully it's for the better, not for the worse. But with that, I'll see you guys next time. We just hit 2,000 subscribers, so thank you, everyone. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Peace.